It's that time, America. What goes up must wipe out. $50,000 on the world's largest and most extraordinary obstacle course. We'll see magnificent falls, sensational tumbles, and astonishing spills. Only our mightiest four will advance to the most challenging obstacle course of all, the Wipeout Zone. The epic competition begins now. One will become a champion, but all will wipe out. Hello, America, and welcome to Wipeout. I'm John Anderson, and with me, as always, is the Wipeout wordsmith, John Henson. Well, Johnny, I just try to give a shout-out when someone goes all out for the big payout without being a sellout while they're wiping the heck out. That is outstanding. Uh, also outstanding, the prize money, $50,000 up for grabs. But before any of our contestants can get their hands on all those greenbacks, they have to conquer this week's Wipeout Qualifier. It starts with our Smack Wall Sweeper. Smacks you down and then sweeps you up. And it's on to the Sucker Punch, followed by our bruise inducing friends, the Big Ball. Looking full of themselves as ever. Then on to the Organ Grinder. Play it again, slam! Then we move to our final element, the Trouble Use. And now that we've introduced the obstacles, let's go to the top of the course and meet our first contestant. <laughs> Stairs it is. But she needs to focus her attention on the smack wall sweeper. Prediction, John? Well, she's had her wipe out warm up. I'd say Heather's primed and ready for anything. Oh, 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 except that with the wall and the mud. That was totally unexpected. That was totally unexpected. Heather, that's my point. I did not expect to love her so much. Well, wait, Johnny, there's even more to love because now Heather gets a second chance. John, is it curious to you that she seems so focused on the sweeper arm? You're right. If I was going to do this a second time, I'd be much more worried about the... Smack ball! Oh. Heather Durando having a rough go on her first obstacle. Oh. Let's pray she has a smoother go on the sucker punch. I can wear heavy armor. Heavy armor? What, is she working medieval times? Stand aside, sucker punch wall. I must cross. None shall pass. Very well. Jumps to the belly and our knight has yeah, uh, are you done there, Lord Henson? You know, you can knock a knight down, but she just gets back up. This one totally sucks. <laughs> well, now she needs to suck it up for the big balls, minus the traditional motivator. It's a hidden motivator. It's a what? They have a launch pad. They do? <laughs> oh! From above or below, the motivator always gets the job done. I gotta see that in Super Soloso. Johnny, you hit the uh, fast forward there, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. That machine seems to be stuck here, let me kick. There we go. Super slow. Oh! oh. Uh, wow. Oh, boy. Of course. Can I laugh? I think so, Jill. Heather is. Well, the next obstacle is no laughing matter, Johnny. Heather approaching the organ grinder, where she has to cross these eight pedestals to the other side. Anderson, my Nana used to be an organ grinder, and I just happened to bring one of her early hits from her first album. You know, the organ grinder seems far less intimidating right now. Johnny, the organ grinder is a complicated instrument, and operating it takes years of practice, a skill I could never acquire. Don't you just, like, turn a crank? That's why my Nana had that monkey. I thought he was just a bridge partner. <laughs> Oh, oh! Heather got played by the organ grinder. Well, perhaps she can turn her luck around on our final obstacle, the trouble you. Yeah. Why do they call them that? You're aware of the alphabet, right? Heather! Quick review here. Over the triangles, past the swinging W's, to the finish platform. Go on, Heather. Full steam ahead. Now, literally. Oh! Heather Durando clobbered by the trouble you. And now, not exactly sprinting to the tape, Johnny. With a time of around 11 minutes, I'm guessing we probably will not see her in the next round. Wait a minute. You're telling me she went through all of this for nothing? Most likely. Uh, too bad. Jill, who's next? Is it lunchtime yet? Is anybody else hungry? Jill, we just started. Uh, you hungry? How about we go to the start of the course? This is for my kids, kids. This is middle school.
school teacher, Krista Weismar. According to the research, students call her the toothless teacher. Oh, kids are so creative these days. Where do they come up with the stuff? Ah! Her tooth just came out! All right, the toothless teacher off and running towards the incisor rattling smack wall. Oh, you have no idea. Not smart. Oh, 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 oh. The toothless teacher just became the teethless teacher. What a hit! I oh, hope her students don't make too much fun of her for that. No, I'm thinking they'll have plenty of other material to work with. Toothless teacher now ready to take on the sucker punch. Hey, teacher, leave that wall alone. Oh, oh shot like that had to Ouch. knock the wind out. I don't have to pee anymore. Or something else. Remind her not to swim in her pool. The toothless teacher should feel nice and refreshed just in time here to take on the big balls. I love you. Oh, 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 that's an apple for the teacher. John, I wouldn't mention food around Joe. Remember, we still have a half hour until lunch. 30 minutes till lunch? Next at the top of the course, doing push-ups is Tasha White. She's a self-proclaimed... Freak. So she's in a fitness. What makes her a freak? She's she lost it. Well, let's hope the fitness freak gets it together before she takes on the smack wall. Oh, oh yes, that's right, Tasha. Feel the burn. Fitness freak, right back up, ready for another go. Oh, Johnny, I would not talk smack to the smack wall. Yikes! Great Caesar's ghost! I am in love with this smack wall. I can't get enough. I say we go to a hot tub. Right now? Yeah, now. Why would you do it right now? It'll just take a sec. But it's almost lunch. Don't worry, Jill, you're going to love it. Throughout time, engineers have built the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, the Grand Canyon, and now <laughs> the smack wall. <laughs> Here and here make the contestant look here when they really should be looking here. <laughs> oh, that's not all. Then they get up and do the same thing all over again. Not over. Oh, she could go. Yes. Oh, the smack wall is a miracle of modern engineering, John, and it's all ours. Look at the dude at the top of the course. Jill, that's not just any dude, that's the dude from the Big Lebowski. Look at him, he's a dead ringer. Yeah, there's only one difference, though. His tooth pops out. Why is everyone's teeth falling out today? Jill, it might have something to do with the fact that we built the course on top of a nuclear waste dump, but I'm just speculating. All right, well, let's see if the dude can cruise through the smack wall. Come on, dude! Oh, the dude is down. Far out, man. Far out. This is a You know, the dude could use a haircut, and he's in luck because about to finish the course, 42-year-old hairstylist Susan Lyon. I love when people call me Jillian. It's not my name, but whatever. Careful, Susan. Jill gets a little temperamental when she's hungry. All right. Good luck, Stacy. Stacy? Uh, Jill, her name is... Oh, I get it. Oh! oh goodness! I think she landed on the grass. That's what you get when you call me Jillian. My name is Jill. I'm gonna have to do that again. Uh, we better break for lunch. Yeah, uh, uh, Jill, we got plenty of food up here. What would you like? Something ready, like, I want something like a chicken sandwich. Uh, we don't have that. We have a quesadilla. Where's the salsa? Uh, Who can uh, eat a no. quesadilla without that? Uh, huh? What? Are you talking? Could bring your own. Are you talking back to me? No, definitely not. Definitely you tell me there's no salsa? Yeah, uh, no. I've seen her like this before, John. Wagner needs to be fed or we're all in danger. All right, America, well, why don't you grab a snack, too, and we will be back with a lot more wipeouts after this. Back to Wipeout, where we are halfway through qualifying, barely reducing our field of 24 down to 12. Johnny, you're back. Did you feed Jill? No. I got attacked by ravenous crew members. Do we feed anyone around here? No 
One thing I was able to save was a donut hole. Yikes. Well, poor Jill's gonna have to wait, isn't she? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Hey, we got more work to do, sister. <laughs> I'm wasting you away. <laughs> Jill, it's not my fault. Anderson ate your donut. He gets everything and he gets a donut for himself. Anderson, you're a dead man. Anywho, let's go to our next contestant. Maybe he can help. This is 36-year-old Randy Wiggs. The bald guy's name is Wiggs? Height of irony, isn't it? Guy who works the graveyard ship at a grocery store stocking cans all night. Well, let's hope he can make it through the smack wall because <laughs> he works at a grocery. Oh, wait a minute. Can man's back up. Maybe he can. Jarring <laughs> it. John the can man looks pumped though to test the sucker punch. I think it just happened to be off the graveyard ship and in the daylight. Oh, what was that? You can't help it. This man has to stock shelves. But the can man gets back. Randy the can man on a roll. He looks pretty confident here approaching the big balls. Oh, the innovator does not like the can man's cocky attitude. And it gets back right in the face. Just one of the many to feel the mighty wallop of the hidden motivator, Johnny. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Whoa. Not the best place to stop and shake mud off your hands. Oh, show me that one again. Ah, the beauty of the ballet, brought to us by Andrea Brichet. Please. John, my question is, will Andrea be able to translate this style and grace to the chorus? Because there are almost no smack walls in your average ballet. Interesting point. Here she goes. Holy oh, man, ballerinas are flexible. Don't give up. I had no idea I'd enjoy the ballet. Dad and I were more poker folk. Speaking of my Nana, what's going on over at the organ grind? Ah, Johnny, tough obstacle. Looks like nobody here can make it past the second pedestal. Hmm, that's entertaining than I thought. Let's go farther up.